Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I got a surprising value for you. These are the Kisser X travel binoculars. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now generally, um, when I said a surprising value, you don't get um, decent optics for cheap, you know? But uh, these were ones that I ran across. These are going to be replacing the ones by my desk. Uh, for years, I've kept a set of binoculars right by my computer desk um, and my radios just to see what's outside if something's far away and I can't see it. Sometimes at night I'll go out and use them just to look and see, you know, when the sun's kind of setting. But it's good, it's handy to have it there. It's handy to see what's coming at you from a distance should something go down. Now, for years, I have had these rubber-coated, cheapy, I think they're 8 by, what are they, 8 by 25 binoculars. And I mean, they're good, they're okay, they do all right, but they don't give me the, uh, the wide objective like those. And they're kind of not that great, you know. All in all, they work. I got them for free, uh, so I always threw them there and kept them there. So today I decided, well, a couple days ago I decided to upgrade that. Um, when I was trying to look for something a little bit further away, and I couldn't see it. So that's where these came in. I went looking for an inexpensive pair of uh, a little bit of a bigger objective binoculars that I keep by my desk. If there was something I wanted to look at from a distance. And I could actually see a lot of what was going on in the area. As opposed to those with a very small objective. So these are 10 times magnification with a 42 millimeter objective lens. And when you see 10 by 42, that's what it means. You means your 10 times magnification in here, and your objective lenses are the 42 millimeter. So they are a little bit bigger. Um, it's really not much heavier. These are fairly lightweight. Uh, they weigh about half a pound, or eight ounces. They're 5.9 inches by 2.2 inches by 5.1 inches. And they're adjustable, they're foldable. As you can see here, you can fold them up to get them to your eyes, the correct distance. They're very easy to focus. You simply just adjust the center focus wheel here first to get a good, clear picture. And then you do the fine adjustments with the right eye to get a little more clarity. This is your fine adjustment here. Okay? And I do like that this is one piece, by the way, because you don't lose just one or the other. If you lose it, you lose it. But at least you are not well, have two, two pieces of plastic flopping around in your pocket. This is your right or left objective. I had it all the way out to demonstrate it to someone. But that's your, that's your right eye objective. So you'll adjust this one first for your best clarity, and then you'll do that. And of course, the first thing you're going to do is put these up here and get them to where they see both your eyes, where your eyes can see clearly through both of them. So the reason I said they were surprising is because they have incredible clarity to them. You know, I didn't expect an inexpensive pair of binoculars to be that clear, and we'll demo that for you in a second. Uh, these are $26.99, so $27. Bucks. And, you know, again... They're just going to live by my, by my radio table, and um, you know they're not super super critical or important. I have better binoculars for that, but uh, just for spotting what's going on in the neighborhood or if there's something going down nearby, very handy to have. So you really get really clear light transmission and very clear images, and that's due to their quality prisms that they use and their multi-layer broadband green film that is on the uh, on the ends on the objectives here. This is also nice, too. These just hang. You don't need special uh, things for them to go anywhere. They just hang there, and you won't lose them. So, that's the story on them. I was really suppressed, uh, impressed with them. Uh, the um, armor on them, the steel frame, the rubber sl no slip armor, really nice, too. Very good grip on them. You're not going to lose these. You know, They're not going to slip out of your hands. These, when they got wet, because they're very smooth, as you can tell, they would slip right out of your hands. And I have gotten them wet a few times in rain and stuff. And they weren't as grippy as those. So I do like the grip on them. I do like the rubber armory. They are waterproof, but they're, you know, they're resistant to rain. But I wouldn't immerse them in water. You know, again, we're not talking, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollar binoculars. These are just 27 bucks. So as we said, the lens diameter is 42 millimeters. It's 10 times magnification, and they use what's called a Poro prism. Now, there's a lot of back and forth between the prism types and binoculars. Some people swear by the roof prism on these. Um, it is a little more expensive to have a roof prism binoculars. Birder, bird watchers love the roof prisms. As a general rule, dollar for dollar, a Poro prism will give you better performance for the money than a roof prism, especially in lower medium price binoculars like these. Now, they do come in a bunch of different colors, and I will put the link down below where you can check them out. Um, they come with a black and gold and all sorts of different... Uh, that 
you have the, this is rough here, and this is gold, or this is gold here, and that's rough, or blue, or they come in a bunch of different colors, you'll see. So if you're looking for any specific type of color combo, they're there. Uh, I didn't see any kind of camo or anything like that, and really, black is fine for these. They also use the Prism Material, which is a Bach 4, B-A-K-4. Now, it's a glass designation used by Schlott AG, which is an old, respected German manufacturer of optical glass. And it's used for prisms in most, but not all, high-end binoculars. The less expensive BK7 prisms kind of have a squared-off, non-circular exit pupil. So when you're looking straight through these, okay, from a distance, and you won't be able to see this on camera, I doubt, um, the BK7 will have a circular look to it. When you're out here, you can just see a circle. And the B, I'm sorry, the BK4 will have a circular look. The BK7s will kind of have like a squared-off, non-circular exit pupil. So it'll almost look like a square box in there instead of a circle. So that's kind of how you can tell. So they are circles, so I suspect they are really about four prisms. All in all, really impressive. Let's take a quick look outside and see what they look like. Again, I, this is just a quick video. Um, I'm going to show you what they look like with my camera phone because this camera wouldn't, uh, wouldn't focus up on that lens. As you can tell, there's no real way you could possibly... I can kind of see the circular look of them. There's no real way that they can get close enough to show you that. So we're going to use my camera phone, and again, excuse the shakiness, it's going to be shaky a little bit because I have my camera phone pressed up against them. And let's see what they look like. All right, there you go. Forgive my shakiness, I'm holding this camera up against these lenses. I really wanted to give you a look at what this looks like. Those are the mountains behind my house there, or should I say in front of my house. And there's the street, and I mean this camera doesn't even begin to do it justice. It's so incredible how clear these are for an inexpensive set of binoculars. So, let's get them back on the table and let's finish up this review. All right, back inside. That was pretty impressive, even for the camera. You know, I went and I looked at the footage after I shot it, and I was like, wow, you know? Um, it doesn't do it justice to the naked eye. I mean, looking through these yourself, they're even clearer than that looked on camera. But you can see how nice they looked. And, you know, for a $27 pair of binoculars, that's almost unheard of for them to look that good. I've had cheap binoculars over the years, and some of them have been absolutely horrible. Um, and these actually really look nice. So you saw them there. I'm going to show you what comes in the box with them. You will get a carrying case. And while it isn't the most expensive carrying case, it is formed, you know, it's formed nicely. It's not a cheap, flimsy case. You do have a little bit of structure to it. Okay, so you'll get the carrying case with that. You'll get a cleaning cloth, of course. All of these come with a cleaning cloth. You'll get the instruction manual. And this is a decent manual. There is a little bit in, you know, hard to understand things in there. But all in all, it's really not that bad. And you will get a lanyard for them, which I will be putting on them. Because um, I do like having a lanyard on my binoculars. Or a neck strap, I should say, not a lanyard. Um, you will be getting that, and I will stick that on there when I get them ready to put them by my desk. And that's about the story on them. So for 27 bucks, you're getting a pretty good deal, especially for people on a budget who are just starting out and maybe want some kind of optics to see far away. Again, looking through these at a distance at some unknown possible threat looks a whole lot less threatening than saying, I got my 10 times scope, I'll just look through that on my rifle. <laughs> that could be taken the wrong way. So in a situation where you're not sure of your environment and you're not sure of what's going on, very handy to have. Um, I keep a pair of binoculars in my vehicle because I can't tell you how many times I've been stuck in traffic behind a huge accident, say 500 yards up ahead, and all I see is flashing lights. I can't tell what's going on. I can't tell if it's clearing, if it's going to be a while, should I turn around? So with these, or with any pair of binoculars, you can get out there and take a look, and they're definitely a handy prepper tool. Um, definitely a way to keep a, a surveillance of what's going on in your neighborhood without being obnoxious and, you know, you know, pointing rifles at people to use your scope. That's not exactly very safe. So that's kind of the reason that I like having a pair of binoculars along with your defensive tools as well. Anyway, folks, I will put a link down below um, where you can pick these up. I did put them in my Amazon store. This is just something I purchased, and I was really impressed with the quality of them. Um, you know, again, they will be replacing these, and I'll probably give these away to a friend who doesn't have anything and maybe not money to buy anything. And uh, we'll use these from now on. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Like I said, I will have my link down below. Don't forget to check out our Amazon uh, affiliate store down there. You can see everything that I review or most of what I review in the store there. 
and you can check it out, see if there's anything you like. If not, just click the link and shop as you normally would. We really do appreciate that. And don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link down below. We're running two specials right now. We have the four-week emergency food supply, which is $100 off, and the two-week emergency food supply, which is normally $157, but it's $97 today. So check them out there. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link as well. If you're interested in getting some freeze-dried food, there's nothing to join. Yes, you can join and be a consultant, but you don't have to. You can join and be a delivery customer, but you don't have to. You can just make a one-time order, check out the food, and see if you like it. And, as I've told you before, their food is getting more and more in stock. So we're, getting, we're starting to build up stock there at their storerooms and their locations. And don't forget to check out our Olight link down below, too. We've got lots of flashlights on sale at that Olight link, so check them out. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.